Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to make the Demo Man from Team Fortress 2 in Unity. We're going to create the Eyelander. It's a melee weapon that grants a speed bonus for each enemy kill. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my Demo Man here holding the Eyelander with idle and wonk animations. Let's go into our code and set up our melee attack. So I have the code here from the previous videos where we first implemented the bouncy grenade, then the sticky grenade, then we added the ability to reload our weapons. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up our code and put the grenade code in its separate function. So grab all of this code here, the space to switch weapon, test the animation to shoot, test the reload, explode all grenades, all of this. Let's copy it into a different method and call it handle grenade input. Now in here we don't want to call this for now since we're dealing with the melee system. So let's go in here and make a private void handle melee input. And we're going to call it in here. Okay. Now in here let's test for input dot get mouse button down of mouse button zero. So the left mouse button. And I added some functions to the player interface of the previous video. Here they are. I've got a function to get the position of my player, play an animation for the Islander attack with a target position, and set a move speed bonus, which we'll add later. So using these three functions, I have everything necessary to implement the Islander melee system. Okay, so in here, when we got the mouse button down, let's first grab the mouse world position. And in here, I'm going to go into the player interface and play the animation Islander attack towards my target position. So when we play the animation, we want to actually damage enemies. So let's go down here into our grenade explode code and put this in its own separate function. So copy all of this and export into a different function and call it damage enemies in range. And this will also receive a float for the damage range, which we're going to send it in here. So in here, let's put a blast radius of 25 and feed it to that function. Okay, so we have this function that is now damaging enemies within range of that position. We are calling that function on our grenade explode as previously, but we're also going to call this on our melee attack. So in here, damage the enemies in range, within range of the player position, player.get position, and the damage range, it's going to be similar, so let's say 20F. And let's also add some camera shake. Going into the utils class to call it shake camera, intensity of one, timer of 0.1F. As always, you can grab the CodeMonkey utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. Okay, so this should be working. We're testing for our left mouse button down. If it is down, we're going to play the Islander attack animation towards our target position. Then we're going to damage all enemies within 20 units of the player position. And finally, shake the camera. So let's go to our scene, test it out, and see if that behavior is correctly working. Okay, here's my demo man. I can move around. I can hit nothing, and when I hit close to an enemy, there he goes. He's going, going, boom, like that. Okay, great. So we have our melee attack working perfectly. Okay, so now that we have the normal melee attack working, let's add an effect to increase our bonus movement speed per enemy kill. Going to go into our scripts and create a new C Sharp script, name it Islander. This will be the class that will be responsible for handling all the bonus movement speed. So in here, get rid of all this. It doesn't actually have a mono behavior, just a pure simple class. So in here, let us make first a private const float, call it bonus speed per kill. And we're going to give it 10f. We're going to have a private static int bonus amount, which will start off at zero. Then we're going to have some functions to interface with this class. So let's make a public static void add speed bonus. In here, we're simply going to increase the bonus amount. We're going to have a public static void reset speed bonus, which will set the bonus amount back to zero. And finally, a public static float get speed bonus, which will return the bonus speed per kill multiplied by our bonus amount. 
Okay, so whenever we kill an enemy, we want to call this function, which will increase our bonus amount. And then we want to get the speed bonus, which will then be applied to our player handler. Whenever we get hit, we want to reset the speed bonus and then apply the same. So back to my game handler script in here on my melee input. When I damage enemies in range, first of all, let's modify this function to get a return value for how many enemies were killed. So I'm going to return from void and make it return an int and in here an int for enemies killed amount and this is what we're going to return from this function and here when we do kill one we're going to increase that function okay so in here int enemies killed amount will be that and first of all we're only going to shake our camera if the enemies have been killed so if enemies killed if it is bigger than zero, then shake our camera and add it to our Islander bonus. So Islander dot add speed bonus. We're going to add just one bonus regardless of how many enemies we kill. So the effect isn't insanely drastic. And finally in here, we're going to go into our player interface, which has a function for set the move speed bonus. And it takes in a float for the move speed that will be added onto its normal move speed. So what we want in here is to go into our Islander and get our speed bonus. Okay, so this way if we have killed more than zero enemies, so if at least one enemy has been killed, we're going to shake our camera, add the speed bonus to our Islander class, and then set the player interface move speed bonus based on what the Islander class says. So let's go to our scene and test it out. We should be increasing our speed per each enemy we kill. Okay, here I am, there's an enemy, and boom. And yep, I am moving a bit faster, and a bit more, bit more, bit more. Okay, so as you can see, the code is working perfectly. I am increasing my move speed for each enemy kill, but as you can see, it looks quite a bit silly when it reaches insane levels. So we obviously want to cap our bonus move speed amount into a decent normal value. Okay, so let's go into our Islander class and add a private const float for our bonus amount max, which we're going to set at, let's say, 5. So in here, we're only going to increase our bonus amount if the bonus amount is indeed less than the maximum. And just for testing, let's go into using the code monkey utilities. Go into the CMD bug class to do a text pop-up to say our bonus amount. So we can easily see if it stays within the valid ranges. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, here I am. I can move, I can attack. There's an enemy and boom. Bonus amount one, two, three, four, five, and five. Yep, it is capped at five. Okay, there you go. It is moving obviously much faster, but still within a valid value. Okay, great. So now let's lose the bonus when we get hit by an enemy. Now down here on my player interface, I have had an event, event handler on hit, that is called whenever the player is hit by an enemy. So let's use that to reset our speed bonus. I'm going to go up here and go into my player interface and subscribe to the on hit event. So in here, all we need to do is go into our Islander and reset our speed bonus, and then obviously apply it to our player interface. And for testing, let's add a text pop-up on the player interface dot get position and just say hit. Okay, so now when the player is hit, this event will be fired. This function will capture this event. It will reset the movement speed bonus. It will give the player interface the new reset speed bonus, and it will make a simple pop-up so we can see when the event has been fired. So let's go and test it out. Okay, here I am, there's an enemy I'm going to kill. Okay, bonus amount one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the bonus amount has been correctly capped. Now, let me get hit by an enemy and see if it resets. Boom, there you go, reset down to zero, and I'm being hit. Killed them all, and now I can increase again. Let me get hit, and there you go, the movement speed is back to normal. Hit, 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 and now I'm fast. Yep, okay, great. 
So there you have it. We added the Islander as a melee weapon and applied a bonus to our movement speed when an enemy is killed. We also made sure to reset our bonus movement speed whenever we get hit by an enemy. In the next video we're going to cover the charge ability. As always you can download the project files and utilities for free from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, see you next time.